Welcome to Novant Health in Focus. I'm June Baker. And today, we're gonna to get to know Mr. Ernie Bovio, who is the new president of Novant Health Coastal Region and Novant Health New Hanover Regional Medical Center. So please stay tuned. Ernie, I am so excited to have you here today. I've been looking forward to this show so much. Well, thanks for having me on. Oh, absolutely. Um, I heard a story about you, something that you said. You said you, you feel like you've been preparing your entire career for this role. Tell me more about that. Well, I've been um, in healthcare for almost 30 years now. And as I think about that career and the experiences I've had, and then I uh, look at the challenges and opportunities that exist in the coastal region, um, I feel like I've been there and done that. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's the acquisition and integration with um, yeah. Novant Health, I've right. been through acquisitions and integrations in the past. I've been in very fast growing markets where we've had to build capacity and create access to keep up with the growth. Um, and I've been part of community hospitals, academic hospitals. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot in my career and I feel like I'm well prepared to meet the challenges and, and the opportunities at the coastal region. Yeah, you have a very diverse background between the um, academic and and uh, healthcare. It's it brings a wealth of uh, knowledge to this to this particular um, program. So uh, we all have reasons why we joined Novant Health or got into healthcare or what have you. Did you have a story behind your healthcare? I'm, I'm one of those guys that went to college thinking I was going to be a doctor <laughs> and go to medical school. And then, you know, after a year or two of uh, biology and chemistry and um, making C's and D's, <laughs> um, I, I, I realized I really didn't like science. And so, uh, but I did want to, I did want to serve and I did want to give back and I was sure. interested in healthcare. And so just uh, found a, a, a path that would allow me to, to uh, participate in, in this really a, what, what I think is a noble calling to serve mm -hmm. others and um, went the business route and um, mm -hmm. it's all worked out. Yeah, um, I agree with you. It's great to, to give back. That's probably the biggest reason I'm in healthcare. We usually all have a, a story and it's very similar. Um, I know you've been in um, healthcare a long time. You said 30 years and you've been in a strong leadership role for a number of those years and um, I heard that you don't like to spend a lot of time in your office or in your chair behind your desk, but you think it's important to be out there in the facilities. So why do you think that's important? Well, uh, it's interesting you mentioned that. This morning when I got here, it was <laughs> right around seven o'clock. I took my laptop, went down to the cafeteria and knocked out emails for an hour and a half. And during that time, got to interact with staff and team members coming by. Um, so I, I would just want to make myself available and visible and not being not having a clinical background I felt it was important to spend time in, in on units and departments um, rounding with um, clinicians observing physicians and, and nurses just to understand what their day-to-day is like and that's just provided me a, a wealth of, of knowledge and, and um, education and understanding so that when we're making decisions about resources or um, you know capital spend or process change I have a sense of how that's going to impact um, those that uh, um, that are doing the work. Mm -hmm. um, so, and, and just building relationships with yeah. with the, with the team and with our medical staff, and um, can't do that in the office. Yeah, uh, it's all about relationships. I learned that a long time ago, and as a relationship manager myself for the Novant Health Medical Group, um, that's how it all starts. And, and once you have that relationship, you feel. Uh, more at ease. You can pick up the phone and say, hey, this is what I heard. Is this, are you in agreement with this? It's just most, it's so easy to have any kind of a conversation later if you have that established Definitely. relationship. Yep, yep. So, and from a, on a personal level, as a team member in, with Novant Health for 25, 27 years, I, I will tell you that it's very important. When I saw you yesterday, as a matter of fact, I saw you at an event and the, the positive comments from the other folks there were like, he's so accessible, he's here, we're so thankful. Um, it, it means a lot to team members, and I can say that from a personal perspective. So 
Well, Great job. I'm just another team member. And that's how it feels. You make us feel like that. So, but beside that, I know that you have a fairly demanding job. So what do you do in your free time? Free time, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> really, I, oh, I hope you have free time. <laughs> um, I'm, 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 I'm making some, we're, we're squeezing some in. Um, I like to be outside a lot. Do you? Um, I cycle a lot, oh. um, that's kind of my thing. Uh, my, my fitness, my, my workout, cycling, running, swimming. Um, so I do a lot of okay. that and then, um, we, we like to be on the water, in the water, by the water. Um, <laughs> and uh, so we're really excited to be now working yeah. and living at the coast. Yeah, um, the, and cycling is real popular here. And fortunately in this area, you have a lot of paths and, and things like that. So that yeah. makes it nice. So, Well, now you've been here a couple, min couple months already. And I know you've been making the rounds in the facilities and getting to know people. So. Have you learned anything as you have uh, networked with uh, physicians, uh, team members, and visited the, our various facilities, because there's a lot of them. Um, what have you learned? I've learned that um, our medical staff, our team members, have been through a lot over the past three or four years with uh, acquisition, pandemic, staffing challenges, integration with Novant, a new president. Um, there's been a, a, a lot of you know, challenges, right. and, that, and sometimes that creates a little bit of uncertainty. Um, so that's one thing I've learned, but I've also experienced, um, uh, as I interact with, with different stakeholders, just an excitement and an enthusiasm <laughs> for the future and all the neat projects that we're working on, um, whether it's you know, internal performance improvement or building capacity, building new facilities. Um, everyone's really excited about um, our direction forward. Yeah, and you just mentioned growth and, and opportunities and possibilities. Uh, Novant Health exists to uh, create a healthier future for our community, uh, the communities that we serve. So in what ways are, are we out there showing that growth? How do we uh, communicate that? Well, um, we've got so much going on right now. In, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna open the first Novant Health Michael Jordan Family Medical Clinic. That's, That's pretty great. exciting. That's I was right. over there um, a couple of weeks ago, touring the place, it looks great. Um, and you know that'll that'll meet um, uh, that'll create some access in, in a community right. that's typically been underserved. Um, and then we'll shortly thereafter we'll break ground on the second one in mm -hmm. Wilmington. So that's that's exciting. Um, the Scotts Hill campus is exploding. I mean, we, you know, in addition to the existing surgery center and freestanding emergency department, a medical office building is under construction that'll be uh, complete mm -hmm. later this year. So that'll house more primary care and specialty care. Um, the foundation and site work for the hospital on that campus is underway now. Mm -hmm. So in two and a half years, sometime towards the end of 2026, we'll have a new hospital in New Hanover County. Um, yes what about yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, we were in Brunswick County dedicating and celebrating um, the new 3D uh, mammography mobile unit. Right. So the latest and greatest technology for screening and prevention of breast cancer, and that was an exciting day for us. Um, and in Brunswick County, we've got some other things going on. We're gonna uh, be adding a, a cath lab to the hospital, another uh, MRI, uh, more medical office space. Um, we're recruiting you know, 50 to 60 primary care and specialty care physicians a year to the region. Um, so it's just, you know, it's gonna be constant, 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 constant growth yeah. to keep up with the, the population, uh, population growth. Um, I was at an event um, a few weeks back and we unveiled the new community cruiser. Tell me about that. What yeah. does that do? Yeah, that's, that's uh, part, part of the Michael Jordan clinics and, and that will oh. allow us to, to get out to some more underserved areas, mm -hmm. um, providing primary care, preventive care, vaccinations, screenings, those types of things. All so, within that cruiser. All within that cruiser and all throughout the region. I noticed that there's a lot more young people. When I go to Publix or go to Kroger, I, there's, and there's kids. And when I first moved here, it was totally a retirement community. And I thought, well, I don't know, I'm really bored. I'm gonna have to find something to do. So I went back to work. But now all of a sudden I see young people. And so what are we doing to uh, provide resources for all those young people and their children and things like that? Yeah, so, um I think this this region, this community has a pretty diverse population in terms of For the sure. demographic and, and the age distribution. Um, there's a lot of lot of kids in the area, and one of our focuses has been to uh, enhance the pediatric program here with subspecialists. And we've partnered with um, the School of Medicine, UNC Health, 
um, School of Medicine mm -hmm. to help us provide more subspecialty support so families don't have to travel out of the region to, for, their, for their kids' health care needs. Yeah, uh, the partnership with UNC, um, th that does, that's amazing. I, I'm really excited about that. There's all these babies being born, and so we've got to take care of them. Um, we're also recruiting a lot of new providers. And in Brunswick County, we've recruited uh, a couple of new orthopedic surgeons. Um, yesterday, I was interviewing with uh, primary care. And on Monday, I'm interviewing with a psychiatrist. So uh, recruitment is really on the rise in Brunswick County, and I'm assuming it's likewise in Wilmington. Oh, throughout the region. There, there's already a shortage of physicians oh, um, and, and an anticipated shortage uh, throughout the country. Um, we're forecasting, and with the growth that's taking place here, we're already we're already behind. So we're trying to accelerate the recruitment um, across the board, all specialties, primary care and specialty positions. Um, there's going to be a huge there's a huge need now, and it's going to it's just going to grow over time. So that's a big focus for us. And in order to accommodate that recruitment, requires space. And so we're, we've got a number. <laughs> yeah. We just opened uh, the, the new medical office building on the Brunswick Medical Center campus. Um, and we're, we've got three medical office buildings under construction in New Hanover County right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, primary care is really a shortage. Uh, people, uh, because I'm out and about so much, I run into all sorts of people, mostly newcomers, and they, they tell me they have difficulty finding a primary care physician. And so I try to offer resources and help them make that happen, but we really need more primary care. Yeah, and, and we're, we're recruiting it and we're bringing it. It's coming. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about what's on the horizon, because that's really important to me. I want to know where we're headed. Tell me about Scotts Hill, um, some of the investments that we're making. Uh, yeah, yeah. One of the big investments we'll be making here shortly is a, a surgery center in Leland. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be adding more OR capacity in Brunswick County. Um, I mentioned the Scotts Hill um, campus and, and the development there. How many beds will that have? It'll, we're, right now it's slated for 66, but okay. we think by the time we open, we'll be able to add some more licensed beds to that Good. facility. Um, eight operating rooms. Um, eight. We'll double the size of the emergency room at Scotts Hill as part of this project also. So the emergency room is open now, is that correct? It is, yep. Mm -hmm. It's been open for a while, um, I think since 15 maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's very, very busy. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So I understand that there's a huge investment uh, being made to grow the healthcare workforce. How do you make that happen? Workforce uh, is a major challenge for us um, here in Wilmington, Brunswick, uh, across the state, across the country, and um, it will be a challenge for the foreseeable future. Um, fortunately, Novant Health's invested $10 million locally to help support scholarships um, for aspiring healthcare professionals, both at UNCW and Cape Fear Community College, to the tune of $10 million. Um, a, a lot of that will be providing scholarships. Um, a, a portion of that is going to be to help um, fund preceptors and educators, mm -hmm. and then also develop sim labs and um, other other oh, ways yeah. to help educate um, educate yeah. nurses and. It's all over the country, I mean, the shortage. And in South Carolina, I noticed that one facility built a new nursing school next to the, <laughs> the hospital, and they just kind of transfer over. So you have to come up with some you know, pretty good ideas to yeah, and we're working with we're working with the university and the college to um, try to retain their graduates locally too, mm -hmm. and we're doing a pretty good job of that. But there's still some that are that are leaving the region and, and going elsewhere, right. and we want to get to them early and, right. and soon, make them offers and, and get them. And a lot of them come and do their clinical rotations here, so they experience the the teamwork and the culture and. Um, they get to interact with all, all of our team members, and I have found them, our, our, our team, to be uh, very proud of their profession, they proud are. of this hospital and, and all of our hospitals, um, and uh, proud of the teams that they work with and the teamwork, and it's just, uh, it's been, that's been a great first impression is the interaction with the team and just to see the compassion and the expertise, and um, they provide great care to our patients. Yeah, I, I agree, and they do it with a smile. They work a lot of hard, long hours, and they continue to smile and be enthusiastic and take great care of our patients. So, yep. well, Ernie, it's been my pleasure, but I want you to come back after we do the Scotts Hill and all that. Yeah, yeah. So you can like keep us posted. Will you do that? Anytime. Okay, I'd love to. Great. Yep. Well, thanks again. Thanks for having me.